The soft cushion broke the man's fall. Well, she's just naturally sloppy about everything, but her physical appearance. Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today, we're looking at the beautiful updates to Ziva Dynamics. So, the last time we talked about Ziva, we talked about the idea that they have a brand new face trainer, which is actually a real-time face trainer that they're working on. It's an anticipated tool. Lots of you guys were excited about it. And I did say, if you'd like to join this, you can simply go over to the link in the description or go over to zivadynamics.com and join the waiting list. This is beautiful, awesome. There's a couple of samples here, but one thing to keep in mind is you need to actually, you know, jump in here for you to be able to test it. So the folks at Ziva Dynamics have released a pretty impressive demo that shows Ziva Dynamics, you know, it just shows this thing in Unreal Engine running at 4K, 60 frames per second. And I think this actually brings a whole lot of things into perspective. The first time we saw it, it felt like, you know, maybe there is a superimposed image on something on something. But right now, seeing this in Unreal Engine actually makes it even far more believable. I'll simply go ahead and insert the clip right here where you can see this model in action. Special task forces rescue hostages from kidnappers. The girl at the booth, just hold 50 bonds, sorry. <laughs> Rice is often served in round bowls. So now that we're back here, you can see that this has that fidelity that you've always wanted to get. It's also worth knowing that seeing this in Unreal Engine viewport and not just seeing it slapped right here means there's a whole lot of potential for filmmakers and animators to take advantage of this. You guys also mentioned MetaHuman. The big difference between this and MetaHuman is the fact that this with any model you have, you only need to follow the instructions and upload it. And it doesn't matter if it's an alien character, a realistic character, a stylized character, you would have that visual fidelity. Now, because I have not been able to test this, I do not know if it comes with a set of rig that creators will be able to tweak and make some very cool effects with, but so far so good. This is what we have. Now, with that said, MetaHuman, on the other hand, is a web-based character generator. So this simply means that there is a couple of, you know, predefined characters that you can tweak with and you can generate your character. It makes sense to also understand that MetaHuman offers you the ability to tweak this character however it wants, clothe it, add grooms to it, and finally, you can download it by simply using Bridge. And that is one beautiful thing with MetaHuman. But then, if you're looking at Ziva, Ziva gives you that access to creating custom characters however you want. So you can make these characters in any tool of choice and you can upload this. And I think that is the end goal. You'll be able to upload it onto a page that they're going to provide once this becomes available to everyone. And this would give you that same visual fidelity that you've always wanted. So with that said, let's take a look at, you know, the kind of fidelity that we might be getting. That is if Ziva actually comes with a rig and uh, we will test that with MetaHuman. So once you're done with your MetaHuman character, you can always download these by simply using the bridge. So if you do have a bridge, you can link them up to the bridge, go over to the MetaHuman section, and you can get them right here. So let's take a look at the MetaHuman source file in Maya so that you guys can see what we're looking at. And the file we're looking at is the Emmanuel file. And I just downloaded that and shipped it over to Maya so that you guys can uh, take a look. So if you look closely, you would notice that we have lots of control and i believe that maybe the folks at ziva would supply this level of control and of course if i start moving this you can see it looks pretty solid i love this and it's also worth knowing that one of the things that got to me when i was looking at the ziva image is the fact that once the character's mouth starts moving you get to see the ear muscle move this is one thing i look out for when some watching motions that are get to be photorealistic as most animators and also most rigs do not incorporate this but for sure you can see that here once you're also working with the metahuman file so i do wish that we get to have some control like that of metahuman but then have them incorporated onto characters like this so probably in case the creator would like to tweak you know the jaw opening the character talking and stuff like that I would also love to see something as beautiful as what we have in MetaHuman come over to the Ziva real-time facial trainer. So this is more like it. This tool is also an automated tool, which simply means that you only have to upload your model on the internet and it will do all of the crazy things and give you a file that you can download and start working with. And you can also read up on how much scans or how much stuff that has been you know, trained as it is actually stated somewhere around here. So it has been trained with over 72,000 different shapes and that is crazy 15 terabytes of 4d scans and at runtime you'll be having only 30 megabytes 
and this is something that you can work with crazy stuff tell me what you guys think about this one not that you've seen the demo not you've seen this in action and also seen a comparison with metahuman tell me what your thoughts are is this scary is this interesting i'd like to know what you guys think about this one and until i see you in the next video peace the box was thrown beside the parked truck it's a relaxed home atmosphere enough to help her outgrow these traits help the woman get back to her feet